With these record high gas prices, some are turning to alternative options like bicycles. Emery Wilder joins us now with more on how fuel costs are changing how people ride. Yes, Marissa, the nicer weather makes biking a feasible option to get around. But today I met a man who hopes there will be some kind of re resolution at the pump soon. Unless you, unless you want to walk, you know, you, you, you got to put gas in your vehicle. With gas prices the highest it's been in a decade, drivers like Joe Gonzalez feel defeated, saying there's not much to do if gas is a necessity. Uh, you, you got certain things that you have to have. Gas is one of them. Food at the end of the week when we, you know, we're, money's running short, it's either basically gas or, or, or food. Gonzalez admitting filling up lately is taking a big chunk out of his family's budget. For both cars, it's, it's roughly like a hundred dollars, like sixty dollars a piece, and uh, it's like every every three days because we're, we're 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 mobile. You know, we're, it's, it's summertime. Everybody want, everybody wants to be out. As the temperature heats up. Some people have found another way to get around. Bikes. Sam Abruzzo owns the Bicycle Connection. He's seen an uptick in customers coming in trying to escape the rising gas prices. Not as busy as it was back in 2020, um, but it's busier than it was in the past for sure. A recent survey from AAA finds 59% of Americans say they'll make changes to their driving habits because of the price of gas which Abruzzo believes many locals will do. I don't drive much. I, you know, I, if I go anywhere, it's on my motorcycle or bicycle. Bicycle Connection is located on Main Street if anyone wants to dust the cobwebs off their two-wheeler. Marissa?